what I saw is this real gap between maybe some long-term thinking and the operational. I saw the fact that, um, for instance, in the fact that on the ground, the norms and codes with which we work in, in climate are relatively near term. And there is no real thinking of what would happen beyond 2050. There is what you, is, and that part of that has to do with the fact that that period of uncertainty is too difficult. And part of that has to do with the fact that the people who have been developing and arguing uh, for these codes have a sort of history in water management. And that is a history in which climate was relatively stable. And there has been very little realization about the fact that we are coming to a period that is not only unpredictable, but that will have uh, um, uh, accelerated change. And there has been very little, so what does, very little understanding of what that might mean. What I also saw is that, that climate in the Netherlands is often even equated with water. So a whole host of issues relating to climate, um, uh, 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 heat, uh, but even further down equity and, and these type of things are also not really addressed. So what I, what I encountered was a sort of professionalism uh, without really a, a deep engagement with the complexity of these uh, problems. And then, and I found that really interesting. I also found that maybe that, that has to do with the fact that, that the designers that are in this space are still working from a control perspective. And that's really something that we need to uh, change and very much from a spatial perspective. Whereas, and I really agree with Maria in that sense, that the real solutions to, to the big challenges of uh, uh, our time might not be primarily spatial at all. It is re rethinking our uh, political economy. It is uh, rethinking what it means if we change our political economy uh, to how, how we deal with, with financial arrangements and contracts and our, our regulations. And I really feel that, that, that like working internationally, I, I, I learned a lot of other tools and it was only that I would be invited back in the Netherlands under the disguise as I was still a Dutch person. So the Dutch don't, Dutch are the only country in the world that doesn't take advice from people outside of the country, but I was still enough of a Dutch uh, person to be inserted there. But I really felt that, that, that the whole planning system was incredibly, uh, uh, or too inward looking, given the sophistication that the country has, the capacity that it has, and the way it likes to show itself internationally.